Another style element that's going to persist regardless of uh, the screen's dimensions are uh, the rounded corners I want to put on this. So here is how I'm going to do that. So first I want to make sure that my eight dot columns has the rounded corners and I could do that real easy with border radius. So I say eight dot columns and I just have to target Oh, actually, what am I thinking? I already have that decoration set up. I'll just um, well, I'll break it down into a second line this style since it's going to be multiple styles. And I'll say um, border radius. And let me do border radius of 10 pixels. That's more of a cosmetic thing. That looks good to me. But you notice that... Um, that our pre over here, our pre-formatted text, uh, does not have rounded corners. It's actually come, kind of coming over, and I'm sure that if we change this opacity, you see that um, the, the actual container over here is rounded underneath. But that doesn't matter because it matters what the visitor sees, and we want them to see a rounded corner down at the bottom over there. So I am going to target, uh, did I have the pre-element? Um, set up already. Now I guess I didn't target anything pre but oh, here we go. I got the pre-element right down here that I could target instead of adding in a new code. Um, here's how I'm going to do it. Border radius and if what I all I really want to um, round out is the bottom left and right hand corner. Well there's a shorthand for border radius and you could def if you only define one value, like I did up here, just 10 pixels, it's going to apply it to all the corners around. Otherwise, it's going to kind of work clockwise, starting at the top left to right to bottom right to bottom left. So, with that said, I'm going to apply 0 pixel rounded corner to the top left, 0 to the top right, 10 to the bottom left, and 10 to the bottom Sorry, 10 to the bottom right and 10 to the bottom left, right? These were going clockwise. So this should result in Viola. Okay, that looks nice.